Hey, happy Friday, everyone. This is Jeff Net, your mortgage pro with NGG Financial, giving you another mortgage minute update on October 17th. Yeah, it's a late one. It's 7 o'clock. It's been a pretty busy day, so uh, i got to get this video in and, and keep you guys informed as much as I can. Let's jump right into market data. Hey, this week was a very volatile week. Take a look at Wednesday. The stock market just got completely slammed. Uh, you're talking about four, four main reasons. One is that uh, retail sales were down 0.3%. You have the Ebola scare. Uh, a lot of travel investors, investors uh, invested in travel stocks, pulled their money out. Uh, also, number three, you're looking at U.S. and European growth somewhat slowing, not as progressive, not as aggressive. And then number four, you know, you're just seeing that uh, customer confidence in the stock market um, is is down. You know, the experts or many ex experts are saying that. Um, it's somewhat overinflated the U.S. stock market. So those four major factors really played a key role in people pulling their money out of the stock market and finding some safe havens, uh, you know, different places to invest their money. And some of those places are into mortgage-backed securities, treasuries, bonds, which has a positive impact in mortgage rates. We saw mortgage rates on Wednesday dip down to 3.75 to 3.875 percent. Talk about some awesome affordability. Even the seven-year arm, we're seeing that down at uh, you know three and a quarter, three and an eighth percent. The seven-year arm, quite honestly, is my my favorite program. Reason being is because um, according to the National Associate, Association of Realtors, people only keep their mortgage through good times and bad for three to five years. People only keep their homes, according to the National Association of Realtors, for four to six years on average. It's even less than that for first-time home buyers. But anyways, my point is, is that a seven-year arm can give someone a lot more affordability. Call me up and, and ask me about that. We can go into it in detail. But then, you know, the stock market kind of recorrected itself. And you saw Janet Yellen come back out and build some consumer confidence or, uh, you know, just confidence in general by saying that U.S. is poised for some really good expansion. Also, some good market data came out in the housing sector. Housing starts increased month over month 6.3 percent building permits increased 1.5 percent so once again you had some major volatility good news mixed with some bad news but just some serious highs and some serious lows um, but in general it was a very positive week in regards to mortgage rates right now conventional rates are right around on average four to four point one two five percent i i see personally um that that these rates will dip back down into the high threes. So it's really important that you get with a, a professional mortgage officer like myself who uh, knows the economy, knows when to lock in properly for your clients and, and give your clients the best mortgage experience. And that's what I'm here to do. Well, thanks a lot for watching my video. You all have a great weekend. Once again, I'm here for you. You call me up anytime and I'll pick up the phone or call you back. 858-442-3641, 3641 make it a great weekend and cheers talk to you soon